Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ursula and today we're going to talk about the seven benefits of exercise for mental health. We know that exercise is wonderful for physical benefits such as stroke, heart disease, and obesity, but did you know that exercise is also wonderful for your brain? So we're going to talk about that today and I'm going to give you seven reasons why you need to start working out today if you suffer from depression or anxiety or ADHD. My name is Ursula and I'm a certified personal trainer that battles depression, anxiety, and ADHD. I have been a personal trainer for about five years and I have been using exercise to help me with my mental health probably ever since about 2012. And I wanted to talk about this because I do feel like there's a stigma in fitness with people that have mental health issues. And a lot of people don't realize that some people are in the gym for therapy reasons and not always to lose weight or to gain weight or anything like that. So I wanted to talk about it and give a little bit of my personal story. Don't forget to like the video and share with a friend, leave a comment if this resonated with you and always subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any more videos for me. The very first reason why physical activity is so good for mental health is because whenever you finish working out, your body is going to release endorphins. So endorphins are like natural pain relievers, stress relievers, and they help your body just kind of relax and chill out and get in a better mood. So it also increases the production of serotonin, which is a neurotransmitter that plays a key role in mood regulation. So Whenever you watch Legally Blonde, she always says, hey, people that work out release endorphins and endorphins make you happy and happy people don't kill their husbands. That's what she was talking about. The second reason is because it reduces stress and it does that by kind of suppressing the release of cortisol, which is your body's stress hormone. So this is like a very healthy outlet to build, to get rid of all of your built up, pent up frustration and anger. Just go to the gym, just let it out on the weights instead of, you know, going to alternate methods like maybe alcohol or drugs, working out is like probably the best outlet for you to relieve a lot of your stress. You can have stress from like work, you have stress from family life. It doesn't really matter where the stress comes from, your body responds the same. So you definitely want to incorporate a physical activity regimen so that you can avoid that in the future. The third reason is that exercise improves your mood. So one of the things that I like to do whenever I'm in a terrible mood is I like to go outside and go for like a 30 minute walk. And that's because the vitamin D that your body produces from the sun is going to improve your mood like almost immediately. And just also being out in the sunshine, being in nature and feeling the wind on your face, it just sort of kind of relaxes you a little bit and just lets you know that there's, you know, a good reason to stay alive and still be here for the rest of your life. So working out can just almost immediately alleviate the anxiety and sadness that you feel from depression. And trust me, I've been there. I get it. I completely understand what it feels like to just be in constant darkness, but going outside and just feeling the warm sun on your face, it will really help you a lot. The fourth reason is that your self-esteem is going to go up because you're working out and you're doing things that you were not doing before. It's going to improve your confidence and your self-esteem. So achieving fitness goals that you may have had or may not have had, or you didn't realize that you had until you started working out. That's exactly what happened to me. When I started lifting weights, I was lifting like just the bar or I was doing five pound dumbbells and I couldn't do a push up. And now I can bench press 165 pounds. And that to me is just unreal. And so now when I walk in the gym, it's confidence. It's not anxiety anymore. So feeling more in control of how your body looks and your physical improvements and knowing that you are less likely to have a stroke or a heart attack or be obese or anything like that, that's going to have a positive mood on your mental health as well. The fifth reason is that you're going to sleep better at night. And when you sleep better at night, that's going to have a positive effect on your mental health because your body is like ready for the day. So when you're sleeping like seven to nine hours a night, you can take on anything because you have the energy to do it. Your body has repaired itself overnight. It has reduced the stress hormone known as cortisol. Lots of different reasons why sleep is going to improve your mental health. When you don't sleep enough, you wake up cranky, you wake up irritable, you're very groggy, you can't really focus. So going to sleep at night, is going to help your mental health and working out is gonna help you sleep better at night for sure. Reason number six is gonna be cognitive benefits. Cognitive means brain. So when you're sleeping better, it's gonna enhance your memory when you're working out and then going to sleep and then all of the other things are working well together because you're gonna increase how much vegetables you're eating, you're gonna increase your fiber, you're gonna have more protein because you're taking better care of yourself. 
because you want the physical benefits from exercise. So that's going to affect your brain as well. So you're going to have enhanced memory, concentration, problem solving skills, and that's going to help your anxiety and your depression because your brain is clearer and you're able to think better and you're able to focus more on things instead of being stressed out about all the things that you haven't done. Now you're in a routine and you can get to your to-do list and you're just going to feel better overall. The seventh and final reason that I think a lot of people don't think about is the social aspect of working out is going to improve your mental health. So lots of exercise activities are built in communities like Zumba, going to the gym, lifting weights, going to play kickball, being on the softball team, flag football, anything like that is going to be a group effort and group work. So any kind of like fitness classes or team sports is going to improve your mental health because you have like friends, you have a community, you have people that care about you and are wondering where you've been, they're going to check in on you. That's going to improve your mood as well. So that's going to help with the loneliness that you feel from depression, like feeling like you're by yourself and nobody cares about you and no one's wondering how you've been doing or where you are. That's going to help your mental health. So I feel like that's one of the most important parts about it. I personally lead group workouts because I need the interaction and I need to be around other adults. So if that's you, I highly recommend finding a gym or an intramural league in your area and join a sports team or join a fitness class so that you can be around other people and you can get the benefits of social community connection to help your mental health. So in closing, it's important to note that none of this is to be taking this medical advice. Always speak with your doctor before starting any sort of exercise regimen or program. I am not a doctor, I'm a personal trainer. I can only speak from my own personal experiences that mental health and depression and anxiety and ADHD and working out are linked. They have helped, like working out has helped me more than I can ever explain. It's just something you have to experience for yourself. I can't make you do it, but I can advise you to work out if maybe you don't want to be on so many medications, or maybe you're just looking for a community and some friends to be around, and you're just at a new low. I highly recommend starting with 30 minutes of walking daily. You don't even have to walk for a really long time. You just need to do five minutes and then every week add on five more minutes. So from person to person, the benefits may vary. You might have a different experience than somebody else. So I just wanted to let you know the seven benefits that I personally have experienced. And I really hope this video helped you. And I do want you to reach out to me if you have any questions or if you're dealing with anything mentally and you just need a friend, please always reach out to me. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next video. That will be coming out next Thursday. I always upload videos Thursdays by 5 p.m. Okay, I hope you have a wonderful day.